going to talk about the group that made this happen. A group of far-right ultra-Christians praying over a man who has publicly admitted he is not Christian. Welcome back to part two of my series on Zeke Lag, the super secret ultra far-right conservative Christian charity donation organization whose sole purpose is to get evangelical Republicans into office. I'm doing this in a multitude of parts because we all have the attention span of gnats. Where we left off. This is a 5013C tax exempt charity. So what is it doing in politics? I don't know. We'll talk about that later. We also know that everyone from Jenny Thomas to Mike Pence to Ben Carson to Ted Cruz to Mark Meadows is involved with this organization in some way, shape, or form. According to the internal documents that ProPublica was able to access, it includes over 125 of the wealthiest evangelical Christians in this country. Now, its individual donations may not be as big as some of the other names that you might recognize, but... Its mission is terrifying. They have three major strategy points that they're using in order to enable as many evangelical Republicans gain office as possible. And today we're gonna to talk about Operation Checkmate, which I think is one of the, the scariest ones. And you know how I know that is because Lance Walnew sat down with their executive director and said, it's almost like we don't want people to know about this. If somebody gets a hold of it, they'll freak out. So Operation Checkmate is going to target election integrity. They're going to look to specifically swing states where the election between Biden and Trump was super close. At first glance, you think, well, their strategy just makes sense. If they look at states like Arizona, Nevada, Georgia, Wisconsin, and they try to find ineligible voters, the part that's super horrifying is how they're going to do this. They're going to use a tool called Eagle AI. It's going to speed up up the process of challenging ineligible voters. Are they actually ineligible? This group doesn't care. They're going to mount massive amounts of eligibility challenges in these key swing states. Remember, they don't even have to necessarily be right. They just have to call the integrity of the election into question to make people doubt. Come back for part two, where we talk more about the group's ideology, how Lance Walnew is involved, and the rest of Zeke Lag's plans to ensure that this country devolves into Christofascism.